Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some uh, conquest gameplay from Bad Company 2. In uh, this video, I wanted to kind of um, give you my thoughts on, uh, I guess, the player amount in Battlefield Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3. Now. I'm one who's never really enjoyed the rush mode in Bad Company 2 that much. Not until recently, when I started to only join servers that had um, around 20 players on them. Instead of the regular 32, I like to kind of limit it to uh, servers that have 20 or 24 players, because there are some of them. and. I like to join those instead because I feel like they make for better gameplay. Um, not ne necessarily for recording, but just more enjoyable gameplay because when you're playing on a server with 32 players and you're playing Rush, you can't really you can't really lone wolf it and. That's kind of the point, I get it, but I still think that it seems a lot more fun on the console to play Rush than it does on PC. And um, I think it's a bit harder on PC to have a successful Rush game. And I'm not saying that that it's, it's not possible to have a good Rush game on PC on a 32 player server. The thing is that I don't play that much with friends. Um, most of them are quite busy. Uh, some of them are living away from home and don't have access to proper uh, internet, um, and not even have they don't they don't even have um, have the time to actually play either. So I end up playing a lot by myself, and I think that. By eliminating a lot of the players, or rather eliminating a lot of the slots so that we m play less on the server, makes for not only better lone wolf gameplay, but also uh, increases the chance of actually managing to uh, flank on the different maps, because as there isn't as uh, 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 dense... Um, uh, uh, such a density of players spread out on the front line it's easier to actually kind of flank them and actually get to do some work like you often see them do on consoles however contradicting this fact is perhaps people like Mass Death and Sergeant Enigma who just rape the other team <laughs> with no uh, no amount of players stopping them I mean they just dominate whatever, but I'm not like that, and with fewer players on the server, I feel like I can enjoy a rush game a lot more than I do if there's a lot more players on the server. And there's, um, there's another thing too that I kind of feel like uh, it or helps to that fact, that is that the maps feel like they are kind of a weird cross between the uh, 8 versus 8 players on the consoles and the uh, 16 versus 16 on the PC. So the maps feel like that they are a bit too big for the 16 player servers on the consoles because there seem to be a little too much running without seeing anyone sometimes and uh, it seems like it's hard to kind of defend uh, a, a larger front line in some of the maps with only eight players. But then again, it seems that the maps are kind of too small to have 32 players because the especially defending team end up kind of um, falling in on each other and uh, bunching together at one spot. And that kind of makes it hard to penetrate, penetrate through when you're uh, perhaps just 
you might be one or two or a whole squad, but when they're holed in behind good cover and you're kind of trying to push up and don't always have the optimal cover that you would like to have, it's kind of hard to get them out of there. I thought that was a person at first. <laughs> and um, and I, it feels like the maps are better suited for something like a 20 uh, person pl uh, 20 player server or a 24 player server where you have t uh, 10 versus 10 or 12 versus 12 which kind of feels like it's the perfect size teams because you can keep a, a pretty good defense on uh, a rather large map but still it's not these teams are not too small to actually uh, manage to cover the whole front line and it's not they're not too big to kind of make player bunch up together too much. So I feel it's a good balance and I believe that to be a problem that kind of uh, that kind of uh, it becomes a problem when you try to design the maps for such different amount of players. I mean on PCs we're, can, we can play with up to twice as much players on in one game at the same time and when you have the same maps for both platforms or rather for both consoles and PC it kind of is self-explanatory that the maps may not function optimally because you're trying to optimize them for uh, so few players and so many players at the same time and that's why I kind of feel like um, 2024 is the perfect amount because it kind of falls in the on the mid in the middle ground sort of and that makes makes I mean that's kind of where the maps fall uh, fall to because they're kind of a cross between those two sizes so I feel like that's a proper amount actually and um, that makes me think about ba Battlefield 3 because one of the big things about Battle Battlefield 3 is, of course, the larger, larger maps for one, but also the larger servers for both PC and console players. I therefore believe that it's a good thing that Dice has announced that the map sizes are going to differ between the different platforms. So consoles are getting smaller maps than PCs and I don't know if it's a realization that DICE has had for from Bad Company 2 or if it's something that they've kind of just uh, thought, thought their way um, to kind of figure out but the thing is that with the maps in Bad Company 2 not functioning it functioning optimally for the two different sizes I think it's a good thing that they've kind of said that on PC you'll get the full map on consoles you'll get a smaller version of the map some of the areas are suddenly out of bounds and so these out of bounds areas on the map is actually larger or well, yeah, they, they cover more of the map than they do on um, than they do on PC. I do, however, believe that the air vehicles like jets and helicopters they get to fly. They of course get a get a larger um, larger map to fly on, but I'm not sure if they they get the whole map with the same out of bounds as. Um, as they do uh, on consoles, as they do on PCs. I'm not sure, quite sure on that, but the important part is that console players are going to have smaller maps that are better optimized for the smaller, um, smaller um, uh, player amounts or player uh, players on the server. So I would guess that the maps on the consoles will be approximately of the same size as they are in Bad Company 2. Perhaps a little larger, I'm, I'm not sure. But I think that console players shouldn't 
expect largely larger maps. While on PC, we should get huge maps because of the high amount of players. That's the end of the video, so I have to stop it here. I uh, hope to see you next time. Snuckies.